Shout out to Clean Juice. They taught me how to make it the right way when I went to the store a few days ago. And it's perfect. But I'm gonna save some of this because this is way too much. So much work though y'all they were like you need a blender you need a juicer you need a vitamix all this stuff all i have is a nutribullet or whatever this thing is called so it's like i got to strain it mad work if they had one by me i would just buy it even though it's like from 13 to 15 dollars I can't really drizzle it like how they do, so I'm gonna just mix it in. I got pecans. They don't use pecans, but I like pecans, so I'm gonna put pecans. And then I got some shredded carrot. They also use a little granola, so I'm gonna put that. But first, I'm gonna put it in the freezer because I like mine extra cold. This is the final carrot cake bowl. Sorry if it's a little dim. I don't know what's going on with the lighting, but let's give it a taste. Big clump of almond butter. Mmm. Trying to get me a date. I love the dates. Mmm, this is really good. It's really good. It just took like way too long to make. But it definitely saved me like $15. And I have extra in the fridge. But I still feel like I would go back to clean juice. Of course I'm going back to clean juice because I'm definitely still going back to clean juice because this I would say is like a 10 out of 10, but theirs is like a 20 out of 10. Like, I don't know how or why theirs is so good. Well, probably because they know what they're doing more. Like I'm not a juicer or like a smoothie person. So, you know, and I like my stuff strained. I don't like thick, chunky textures, so I always have to strain mine to actually get it to be smooth. It's just like a little bit too much for me, like, so I'll definitely be going back to clean juice, of course, but if ever I can't, you know, I know I can make it at home. are next prompted to take a step out on faith prompted to do something that might not even be logical but that is what a word from god can do it's so incredibly also recognize it i feel like we likely have all been there where our heart's desire is to truly do what god is calling us to do but we're sitting there in confusion because we don't know what that is never any radio silence with the lord so we never have to guess or wonder if god is saying something and the second piece of good news here is that God's sheep know his voice. What is going on in your life right now? God is good. And believe that it will ultimately work out. Doing this. You can also use like a toner of your sweat grind, like I'm getting off every just feel like I'm.
about to do my workout and i'm actually excited y'all i've been out of commission for like two weeks due to my little injury so my knees are like much more able to bend now so i'm just gonna be doing a 30 minute ab workout and that bun is kind of cute should we keep should we do a bun oh let's do a bun i'm not a bun girl y'all i don't know usually more of just like a pineapple type of girl i think i like it i think we're gonna work out in a bun today and i'll do a pineapple press that back into the floor Wow, my hair is truly brown against this black pillow. I wish my hair was naturally black. trying date sugar so let's open it up it's kind of the same concept as the maple sugar i showed you on um another one of my blogs so it's just dried up date pretty much and sugar consistency so i just got this for my coffee because i feel like the liquid is a little too like potent or robust or whatever so i'm hoping this will be a little bit more gentle like it'll just like sweeten it lightly but it's not gonna taste like dates you know what i'm saying so i know the pandemic is over but i still be like spraying my stuff down i don't know this is alcohol and even when i like go to the grocery store i'm still like spraying and wiping stuff because people touch this i used to work at amazon and you have to like touch this stuff and put it on different belts and put it in bags and stuff so i just spray it because people are touching it and like sweating and just who knows so i'm still spraying and wiping stuff but you know i completely understand if y'all think that's extra so let me taste it it smells like dates but i feel like it tastes just like sweetness and not so much like dates Serving size is a full tablespoon, but I don't like my coffee too sweet, so I'm gonna do a half a tablespoon. This actually even looks like a lot. I don't know, y'all. I really hate. I'm not gonna use the whole half tablespoon. I don't like when my coffee is too sweet. We're gonna see. cold brew itself <laughs> that's what's doing it
Get ready with me to pack for New York City. That's how the people on TikTok open up every single one of their videos or get ready with me's. <laughs> anyway, y'all, we're gonna be packing because I'm going to New York City probably about like four days or so. I'm gonna be visiting my family in Queens. My grandpa just turned, I think, 93. And my grandma is turning nine. Oh my gosh, she's not 98. I think she's turning 83 or 84, something like that. So they're both getting up there in age, so we're going to visit them. And my little cousin is also turning seven. We're going to just have like a little celebration. We're going to be spending time with my father too, so we got some time set aside for him as well. And then my nephew is going to be meeting his great-grandparents for the first time, which is our grandparents. So he's going to be taking pictures with them and everything like that because they're getting up there in age and we all just want to see them and celebrate them and spend time with them. So, okay, so we got to pack for that. Not my cute vintage tee with a bleach stain on it. Are you kidding me? I don't remember this being here. This is a mini tee, y'all, on me. This is literally a children's 6, 6X. And I just, like, stretched it out. Not really sure too much of what we're doing. We've been seeing a lot of cute spots on YouTube shorts that we wanted to go to in, like, Brooklyn and, um... I think just Brooklyn, I don't think anywhere else, but it was like a cute donut shop. And then Manhattan is just a vibe, so it would be cool if we could go like old times, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. And I'm probably gonna be vlogging my little trip to see my family in another video, but this is what I just have right now. This is like probably for around the house or just chill. Another around the house chill. You guys see me wear this, these two things all the time on my channel. They're just cute and cozy. So I got two of those, and then I need pajamas. So let's do that. Ow, my knees. I never have too many panties. To like fits fits, like fashionable, cute fits. My hair is already twisted, but it's not like, it's not like little twisted where I can get a wig on. So I might have to like retwist it tonight and make them real tiny. This is one fit here. I think that's kind of cute. This whole outfit is thrifted. Um, so I probably, yeah, I'm gonna do this. This is cute and simple. Down below if y'all keep y'all socks for a while i'm telling you guys i have socks from junior high school that just i take good care of my stuff that's just me and i'm not like athletic or messy or really sweaty or anything these do look dirty though i can't lie but i've literally had these probably since junior high school i don't know why i, can, I just keep my socks for so long but these are good ankle socks up so maybe i'll bring these i showed my cousin these pair because <laughs> these pair of socks my little cousin which she's probably like 21 or something right now. 
but when she was like seven or super young she had these and i borrowed them from her and i still have them to this day and i promise you i was probably in like middle school and she was like seven literally still have them this part is just a little stretched out but I've been keeping my socks for years. Tweety Bird ones I got in junior high school. I saw, thought they were super cute. Still have these. I was a big sock girly because I used to wear moccasins. I got these. It's like a little frog with the tongue out. So cute. Like, how cute is that? So I would just be holding on to stuff, but these are super cute. 